Hello, I am Tayo, posting crappy videos ever since 2018, and Happy New Year! In this video, I will be talking about how to create competitive Pokemon teams. Enjoy! Strategies are crucial to creating teams. Without one, your team can easily go down to simple moves and Pokemon. The first thing you should do is to use the Pokemon that you like, or a Pokemon that you have a strategy for already. This way, you have a foundation to work on. Your first Pokemon could be a setup. They are easy to build and build off of. I personally like to work on that Pokemon first. In order to come up with a strategy for an individual Pokemon, know what this Pokemon is fit for. Is it a sweeper? Is it a supporter? Is it a setup? Or is it a completely crappy Pokemon? As soon as you know this, you can give it the right abilities and moves to take advantage of its nature. But maybe you have a better idea for this Pokemon. A unique, hard to predict strategy. If so, that's even better. For example, Gengar is normally a sweeper that fights with its mega and high stats. But if you look closely, you can figure out that by combining the moves Mean Look and Perish Song, you can trap the opponent and have them faint in 3 turns. Now it's a strategic trapping type of Pokemon. Now that you have built your foundation, get Pokemon that go well with it. The team should be balanced out, not too many physical or special attackers, not too many supporters. Without a balanced team, you have an Achilles heal, a weak spot. Having too many special attackers can be blocked by a special tank like Snorlax and Empoleon. It is the same with types. Having too many Pokemon with similar weaknesses can give you a hard time. Now you have an idea of what Pokemon have potential for making it into the team. Being too predictable can lead into your opponent reading what you are going to do and encountering it. Avoid this by using less common strategies and with less overused Pokemon. Creating strategies is easier when you know the Pokemon well. If not, you can end up using like a predictable strategy or not using it to its full potential. Anywho, never make your team too dependent on each other. If something on the other team unexpectedly KOs one crucial Pokemon, it's over for you. Always have a backup plan. Sweepers and tanks are great for this as they don't require too much strategy to be powerful. When your strategy is ruined, you can still fight with a glimmer of hope left. Finally, have Pokemon to counter your weaknesses. If you don't want to be crippled by setups, Use the Pokemon with Magic Bounce at the beginning. With so many possibilities, you can never counter everything. So just remember, have a backup plan, have a balanced team to minimize the chances to have a disadvantage, and predict their moves. Making a powerful team is as simple as that. If you still struggle to make your team, follow this layout. One setup, one supporter, two counters, two sweepers. It is a very simple way to build an effective team. And that is it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing for more help on Pokemon. All you need to do is like and share to help my small channel out. Thank you so much for watching, good luck building that team.